How's it going, everybody? Chris Card's back with another Through the Mail Monday, Holiday Week edition of Through the Mail Monday. This is an interesting return because it's not a return. It's initiated from the player. It looks like a Christmas card from three-time All-Star. The original one, Frank Thomas. And I'm trying to open this in such a way where I don't destroy the cool holiday themed address label he used so I can hoard that with my other address labels and there it is and look at that he's in a Mets hat wonderful it's like he knew I would appreciate the Mets hat as opposed to the Pirates hat super cool check out the inside here may your Christmas be filled with gem mint tens and lots of bubble gum well I can do without the gum but bring on the tens Frank Thomas dropping a little hobby knowledge on us and check him out there Riding a carousel at 91, that's an extreme sport. Hang on to that thing with both hands, Frank. And there you have a guy's Christmas card. Frank Thomas, pretty sweet. Did he send these out last year or two years ago? He must send out a ton of these, which is probably why it's not signed, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Very grateful to be on his Christmas card list. Super cool. All right, now let's get on to uh, the returns for this week. I got five returns this week. All right, guys, first return is going to be a private signing because that is a dog stamp. And a dog stamp means this was a private signing return. I think I know who this was. And this took place in August. And this guy didn't sign all my cards at once. So I didn't get him back until just recently. And yeah, Steve Sachs and Jack Clark. Jack Clark as well. That's... I think those were some throw-ins by the person holding the private signing. The problem was uh, he, Steve uh, Sachs didn't sign all my cards, so I've been waiting for months to get my Steve Sachs card signed again. Jack the Ripper inscribed on my 87 Tops card. That's cool. That's that's great for the set. 89 Upper Deck. Steve Sachs has two cards, one with the Dodgers and a high number with the Yankees, and there's 84 Tops as well, so knocking out some of my cool set cards. But this was... Uh, Kind of a snafu, a mistake on the uh, promoter's part, and he made it right by sending off a couple Jack Clarks along with the Steve Sachs cards I purchased. So, pretty awesome return from Steve Sachs. He does a, a few private signings every now and then. Jack Clark also does a few private signings. So, pretty awesome returns from them. The Jack Clark was a nice throw and a nice surprise, but he made it right. So, just sort of reaffirms that private signings, uh, you're, you're dealing with some pretty good dudes out there, and... Uh, they are, if there's an issue, they'll make it right nine times out of ten. So, pretty cool, man. Let's move on to our next return. Return number two comes to us from Sacramento, California. Let's tear into this bad boy, see what we have inside. And we have a signed index card. Let's see if we can figure this out. Yeah. Jim Woods. Jim Woods came into the majors as a 17-year-old kid. Two pinch running appearances for the Cubs before going back down to the minors. 61 tops, his only card. I sent three of them, don't judge. But I love that 61 tops card with a little rookie logo in the upper right hand corner. Signed very nicely there in ballpoint pen. After his brief appearance with the Cubs, and as a Chicago native, that was of course a dream for him. He was traded to the Phillies for... Richie Ashburn, Alvin Dark also went to the Phillies, so pretty high-profile trade there for Mr. Woods. And he was out of baseball before his 24th birthday. He just could not stay healthy, so that was a shame. Two of his three home runs came against Bob Friend. Poor Bob. Jim Woods owned Bob Friend, apparently. And um, good dude overall. Signed my cards very nicely. Signed my index cards. Pretty much signed everything I threw at them. So that's always uh, that's always awesome for a TTMer like myself. And there's his info, guys. Hop on it. Let's get on to our third return. All right, gang. Next return is also a private signing. San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I do believe I know who this is. If you saw... TTMM episode number 100. You know I've got a Puerto Rican connection and I got some obscure TTMers in a private signing. $10 a piece. Andres Thomas. 
Braves shortstop from 85 to 90. Had a little pop for shortstop back in the 80s when shortstops did not hit for power. And Melito Perez, a much better player, nine-year career, ended with the Yankees when his shoulder got destroyed. Melito Perez had a pretty decent career as a starter. Was the White Sox opening day starter in 1990. In fact, later on that year, threw a seven-inning rain-shortened no-hitter against his future team, the Yankees. And that prompted MLB the following year to say, "Uh uh-uh, no hitters need to be nine innings. And that disallowed 35 previous rain-shortened no-hitters by other players. Way to go, Melito. Including Andy Hawkins the same year against the White Sox. Andy Hawkins as a Yankee. So turnabout is fair play, apparently. Pretty interesting little story there. 1992 was his best year, 218 Ks behind Randy Johnson, 2.87 ERA, pretty good, but like I said, shoulder problem, and back in the 90s when you had a shoulder problem, it was pretty much curtains for you, so pretty cool returns from the Puerto Rico area, Melito Perez and Andres Thomas. Next return comes to us from Hartford, Connecticut, that's sort of an odd area to get a return from. But it happens. And we've got some index card intrigue. And we've got Ken McKenzie. Chris, glad to sign your cards. Good luck, Ken McKenzie. Let's see what the other one says here. Can you believe it? When Casey Stengel had his 72nd birthday, we thought he was an old man. Now Ken is 86. It's got to be a trip. Here he is right here. Signed very nicely, Ken McKenzie, an original New York Met. Here he is signed with his complete full name. Some people ask for this. Some people collect full names. I don't get the um, I don't get the draw, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Yale class of 1956 inscribed on his 61 rookie card. Another 61 rookie card. And of course. You Met fans might know he was the winningest pitcher on the 1962 New York Mets at five and four. There's his record on the card. He was the only player with a winning record on the 62 Mets team. In fact, he was the only player with a winning record on the 63 Mets team, and he was traded halfway through the season to the Cardinals. And his eight wins in the bigs all came with those Mets teams. That is pretty. Crazy. 17 pitchers for the New York Mets in 1962, and he had the best record at 5-4. and four. What an awesome return from Ken McKenzie. In, 19, in 1962, Casey Stengel said of Ken McKenzie, he's a splendid young fellow with a great education from Yale University. His signing with us makes him the lowest paid member of the class of Yale 1956. Pretty cool return from Ken McKenzie. Good stories about him. Nice to have gotten him. Glad he's still with us, and uh, that's pretty good. Good return. On to the next. All right, guys. Final return of the day comes to us from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Through the Mail Monday, and hope everyone has a great holiday. Whatever you celebrate, may it be good. And we've got my very best to you, Mike Eastler, the hitman. 14-year career, six of those years with the Pirates, including 1979 World Series champion Pirates. 1981 All-Star, awesome hitter, played for a bunch of different teams. There is the 84 Tops Tiffany signed, inscribed Hitman, very cool. He is an ordained minister. He's still coaching hitting. In fact, he's got a pretty awesome Facebook page that he updates almost every day with all sorts of tips and videos and explanations of uh, some of the best players that have ever played the game. You can read that. He does accept donations for his signatures. There is the information if you like. I think I sent him $10 with this request. 
anywhere between five to ten will probably get you four cards signed try not to be the guy that sends like 20 cards and five bucks that's sort of a you know that sort of goodwill is broken on instances like that and could turn players off from ttming which is no good so four cards 10 bucks i thought that was a real good deal and um signed my two set cards 87 tops tiffany there and 84 tops uh um 84 tops tiffany as well signed very nicely uh, awesome return from mike eastler super cool dude and uh, go check out his Facebook page. It's pretty interesting. I'm sure it's also uh, he's also on the gram as well. Just like me, Chris Cards 86 if you care to follow. And that is it, guys, for Through the Mail Monday. Put it in the books. We are just a few short weeks of the end of 2020. And let's hope 2021 is much better. I don't think the first few months of 2021 will be that great. But man, if we get 162 ball games next year, I will consider it a victory. Christmas time is upon us, of course. The holiday season for whichever holiday you celebrate. I hope it's a good one. I hope uh, I've always spent my holiday with family. Used to be, of course, excited for Christmas, like all kids were back in the day. But opening day of baseball kind of replaced that excitement that's really the closest i get to the excitement i felt on christmas morning back when i was a kid is 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 opening day for the baseball season and that is the truth some of you may know my birthday is also christmas day chris has uh chris cards has anything you could possibly want and more the only thing i ever want to do is be with friends and family on my birthday and um I'm blessed because every single year I'm able to achieve that, which is awesome, except this year is going to be a little different. So probably uh, the first time in my 41 years of existence that I will be disappointed this Christmas. So it's tough. So it's going to be tough for all of us that can't um, maybe need to stay away from the grandparents or the parents or what have you so let's hope um hope you guys do whatever you need to do to connect with everyone you love and um wish everyone a happy holiday and a new year hopefully everything will be uh much brighter in 2021 